welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you sort of like a dupe a dollar tree dupe for pier one the west elm terracotta pots the black and white style of the terracotta pots that are coming out and i think that they bring like a unique chic atmosphere kind of boho-ish and i'm not really boho-ish but um <laughs> i love farmhouse style but the black and white kind of is just speaking to me and i love it i'm so excited to do this doll tree do for a dollar so guys let's get started because this one is kind of simple super cheap only for a dollar and not only that it is super inexpensive to make as well as super easy and fun so let's get started that's kind of been standing out to me are the terracotta planters that I've seen on like Pier One, Home Goods, Pen uh, you know Pinterest, just everywhere. I've been seeing a lot of this terracotta pottery and Aztec style planters, and you know for your home, for floor plants, for your porch, whatever the case may be. And so I wanted to create a Dollar Tree dupe that would look similar to the ones that I've been seeing really in Marshalls. I was so inspired by this picture that I saw, um, actually that I took in Marshalls last week for a planter and I thought they were so cute. I was gonna pick them up, but I was like, you know what? There's a possibility that I can actually dupe these two items. So Google the few, just so that you can see if you wanted to order or make your own. Now the planters that I'm gonna make, they don't have feet. Most of the planters that I've been seeing have, you know, little feet, little wood, little pieces around them to give them a little bit more height. But the Dollar Tree um, flower box, Flower box, plant, what, what is this called? Flower, I don't know, punch, I don't know, flower container. Anyway, this is, <laughs> this is one of the ones that I made and this is kind of my favorite out of the two that I made. So let's get started because this video is not, it's super cheap and easy to make, but it's also time consuming. So welcome to my channel guys. So I have this planter here from Dollar Tree. I bought two of them and I loved it that the design was so abstract, was very so terracotta-ish, you know, Aztec style. And I loved how it felt to my hand, to my touch. So I figured that I could, you know, paint it over and then follow the design of the actual planner. Now I already have some greenery, of course. So I'm either gonna make it to where one is using that short particular greenery or these long bushels of ferns from Dollar Tree. So I, the really the cost of this item, of this DIY would be a dollar um, if you had all the other items. So you use a styrofoam, you use some paint. I have some chalk paint from Waverly that I actually got from Michaels for like a dollar fifty in clearance. I have some white acrylic paint, I have some brushes. And I did get this, um, I forgot what they call it at Home Depot when there's like extra paint and they bring the paint back because they don't need it. So they have that in the paint clearance section as well. I just got a small can that I was gonna use for some other projects and it's kind of like a grayish cement color. Um, and so I'm gonna use that to paint it over. I was wondering if I should do like one white, one black, but I wind up just painting both of them in their own pretty much design. Anyway, I'm gonna test this paint out and see how it does up against the planter because it's plastic. Um, I can honestly tell you that I probably should have um, sanded the planter just a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a texture because the planters have this plastic covering over them that the paint kind of spreads. But that's why I didn't use regular acrylic or chalk paint. I was happy that I used real, you know, like real paint to cover it and it did an amazing amazing job so so if you notice you see that the paint is kind of spreading um it's not like painting a full um strip of paint and it's spreading because of the film that's already on the planter so that's why i was like okay if i do this diy again i'm definitely going to use 
a little bit of sandpaper just to give it a little bit texture but I actually loved the texture it was creating on its own um, let's keep watching because it does I do add a couple more coats and I think it makes a super difference so since I had painted it white I wanted to figure out a way to add the black to where you could see it and just in case I didn't want to cover the front of it with too much black so I decided to paint um, one of the planters black inside and then one of the plant planters black on the bottom um, just to you know jazz it up a little bit and then I decided well you know what let me go ahead and do the first one how I envisioned it and see if it comes out correctly so I go ahead and I start you know painting with the chalk paint um, and I love this Waverly chalk paint. It is super durable to any type of material you want to paint. And so because I'm kind of working on both of the planters at the same time, I decided to, you know, just tailor my, my timing and see if I could actually hand paint along with the design of the planter. And as you see, it is coming out pretty cool, you guys. I was super super stoked that I could actually just follow the lines and be that you know hand steady with something like that like I give it to hand painters it is not an easy task following something like that and it was time consuming it took me at least um I want to say 15 minutes fully to get around the whole entire thing and I think it, it comes out amazing take a look so now that I've finished painting around the whole entire planter um, I just wanted to see what type of ferns I would use, um, which greenery I wanted to use in this particular pot because of the design of it. So I, I actually added ferns and took them out and tried different things, but it, came, it still came out amazing. And let's just take a look at this terracotta pot that I made for a dollar. final look of the second pot that I made and I thought this was so cute and simple and easy there was nothing too hard to do but paint the top of it as low as you wanted it um, I could have brought the black down a little bit more I could have brought the bottom of the black a little bit more but I thought this was cute in itself and what happened was I actually saw it today and I kept looking at it and I still wanted to change it up and bring it more into the Aztec design more into the terracotta design so I added a little bit more black paint and this is what it looks like so let me know which one of these three planters you actually liked go vote on my Instagram tonight which one you liked and I actually may make one for you and send it to you so make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video I hope you like this DIY and if you decide to make one of these terracotta pots please tag me so I can see your beautiful creations I am excited for spring and I hope you are too make sure you live life and do it your way bye